Welcome back. <laughs> okay, so I'm, this is gonna be my haul for the month of June. It's not as big as May, but we did do some spending in June, so let's get right into it. First thing I bought was the Iman Luxury Concealing Foundation and the concealer, the second to none concealer. I did do a first impression review video on that, so if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check that out. Second thing I just got, um, I got two liquid lipsticks from Dosa Colors. I got the color Campfire and the color Brick. They had a uh, buy one, get one free, so I wanted to take advantage of that because I heard good things about their lipsticks and I wanted to get one. Let me see if I can swatch it for you. So this is the color Campfire. Campfire. Look how bright that is on me. And this is the color Brick. And I already tried these on my lips. Campfire, Brick is fine, but Campfire, I'm gonna have to wear a liner with that. So the, these formulas are very comfortable. I do look forward to wearing these. It's like nothing's on your lips and it's so pigmented. It doesn't take a lot to fully cover your lips. So I highly recommend you, you try this formula if you haven't tried it. And I got a decent <clears throat> variety of colors that you'll like. Next is the stuff that I got from Ulta. They gave me a little 20% off coupon. So I was like, let me just go ahead and use that. I bought mainly skincare. I did get a Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. And I also got the lotion. I also got a new eye cream. I'm running out of the one I have. And this is the one I have. It's all about the eyes rich from Clinique. Um, I just try to take my skincare to a higher level because I do sometimes... I wear a lot of makeup and you know all that wiping and putting stuff on your eye it can dry it out so I just like to use this to add more moisture in I got the black sugar wash off mask or also from Ulta I was running out of it so I just decided to replace it and I also got another setting spray um, from flower beauty I've heard good things about their setting spray I do have own a lipstick by flower beauty and my Ulta has a little flower beauty section so I was like hey let me go get it and I got a new mascara, the Lash Princess from Essence. I heard good things about this. And it's normally like, what, $5? Yeah, it was like $5. So that plus a 20% off. So I was like, well, let me get this. So hopefully I like this. Also bought some more single shadows from Pinky Rose Cosmetics. I just wanted to get some new shadows and some colors that I didn't really have. And I didn't want to play too much for it. So I just went to the Pinky Rose site and they have a lot of variety. So I'm hoping I really like these. So I'm covering these because these are my La Roque shadows and I don't wanna confuse you. But this is all that I got from Pinky Rose, you guys. This is the color Sunflower. It's a matte yellow. This is a shimmery orange, it's called Pumpkin. This is a matte baby blue, it's called Smurf. This is Fairline and it's a darker <clears throat> royal blue and it's matte. This is actually a sh let me get up. This is actually a shimmery pink or metallic. No, yeah, shimmery pink, and it's the color power. This is a uh, matte green. It's called Greenfield, and this is uh, matte brown. It's called Cafe. Something else I bought in June. I was debating making a separate video for it, but I'm gonna just go ahead and throw it in here because I'm. Oh my goodness. I bought an eyeshadow quad of what I thought was all mattes and kind of like a darker shade of what the colors of what I got. So I'm going to insert a picture in this area of what I thought I was getting when I bought, made the purchase online. Look at it. Take a good look at it, you guys. Take a good look at it. You see it? It looks nice online, yeah? I got this little ass palette from Sasha Cosmetics. The size ain't really what's got me. It's just the freaking, the colors. Like, all the colors, they don't look this bright. Only like the white and maybe one of the greens 
actually no only like the white is the one that's like really true to color but i was expecting all mattes and if you go to the site it doesn't really give a really description and i think i'm more upset on this little applicator like what what am i going to do with this you guys like what the hell am i supposed to do with this and it looks like it looks like kids makeup like Let's watch it. And it's already giving me sidewalk chalk dust tease. That's the white. This is like the lime greenish. Look, you see how chalky that is? Let's keep going to one. This is the only nice one, but look how small it is. So yeah, look at that. A chalky mess. I'll leave the link down below if you're interested. I was really excited to get that palette, you guys, because I thought it looked like the picture. Like, had it looked like the picture, the size wouldn't have even mattered to me, you know? But whatever. And for shits and giggles, I was going to do like a tutorial using it, but I'm just like, you know what? It'll probably make me more upset. So I'm just going to stay in my peaceful state of mind and whatever. Use it as a learning experience. I hope you enjoyed this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time.